this is the most inclusive youth COP ever, whether it's youth from indigenous communities, LDCs, SIDS, uh, youth with disabilities, um, uh, youth from displaced and conflict areas, etc. But also, it's a big turnaround in terms of affordability, accessibility to COP, support for logistics, expanding the platforms to connect with decision makers and share their policy proposals. And I want to talk about some of the events today as well. But also, turnaround for capacity building of young people, free educational resources for youth to be prepared to enter the COP negotiations on a level playing field, ready to contribute meaningfully and effectively. And we sought especially to elevate these, the issues that youth have highlighted that have never been adequately addressed in COP, hosting the first presidency events addressing the impact of climate change on young people's mental health, the challenges of youth leading climate action in conflicted uh, and affected areas. Now, before I tell you about today's um, uh, Youth and Skills Day, I want to stress that the COP28 presidency made sure to integrate youth across the whole two weeks of COP and all thematic days had a youth component to truly mainstream youth inclusion.